The, the Coin Island Turtle Rehabilitation Centre was actually born out of the floods from 2010-2011. We had turtles dying and um, yeah, they were dead on our beaches and, and sick in the water. So I guess it was the awakening that there was an issue. By the time we started, um, the demand I guess for rehabilitation of these animals was already huge. And, the issues up and down the Queensland coast were um, just far greater than any, anything that had ever been seen in, the hist in history previously. Once they're swimming and diving properly and, and they can stay on the bottom, that's the first target. Then the next target is to um, simply fatten them. Because a lot of them come in, um, one little jabby there, well, mostly about 30% underweight as a minimum. So. A six kilo turtle, you know, will leave here a you know, minimum of nine or ten. The centre is manned by wildlife carers and volunteers, so everyone's here because they want to be here because they do have a passion for wildlife. And I think it's things like um, everyone, the team really get to know the turtles individually. They know their feeding habits and their behavioural patterns, and um, if either of those change, it's picked up on really quickly, and you know, you can get to the bottom of the cause and. I think that really contributes and the, just the overall passion um, contributes to the success that we've had the past, past 18 months. Hi, I'm Diane. I've been here since March 2012. We um, just make sure the pool's cleaned, get all the dead food and leftovers out of the pool. Um, we just weigh them to make sure if they're losing weight, if they're putting on weight, and we, then we adjust their feeds accordingly. Yeah, and no, I started coming here in March of this year. Um, I had a brain aneurysm at work in November last year, so I was in um, intensive care for about a month and then got out just before Christmas and I sort of wasn't allowed to work. For me it's like it's been rehabilitation for myself by coming over here. Um, struggled with a few things, you know, um, and it's really helped me to, you know, get my life back on track. All your worries in the world sort of go as soon as you hop on that boat and you're coming over here, you know. You you're really excited to see the turtles, you know, and see who's improving, how much weight to put on, and yeah, um, yeah for me, yeah, it's been just like the best rehabilitation ever I could, you know, probably ask for. So it's um, in a funny way where they're both rehabilitating each other. Statistically, of, of all the animals that we receive, about 75% actually go back in the water. So we have some really good wins and some really sad losses. Off and starts with his call. Everybody is excited. That was great watching her go home, knowing she's healthy and safe. The two projects that we've sponsored this year as part of the corporate sponsorship has been the shade sale, which um, helps out with just maintaining the temperature of the pool over the, the course of the year. As well as that, we've also contributed to the heat exchange unit. Um, again, that's a, another piece of equipment that just maintains the temperature within the pool that they've got the, the turtles in at the moment. It's, it's a real outcome-based project, which is what we were looking for. That we, we can see where our money's going, we can see the assistance that it's providing here to the animals, and, and also watching them be released, it's, it's a great sort of full circle type project for us and they're, and they're fantastic corporate sponsors. A lot of people that I've spoken to really see the value of having this facility in the region. It's the only one of its kind in the Gladstone region and um, a lot of people have been really appreciative that finally we have this dedicated centre. We've grown as the need um, has arisen and we'll just continue to do so and with community support we'll be able to do that. The bulk of what we see, to be honest, is, is malnutrition and that's the situation pretty much with every single animal. So it's rare that we get a healthy animal 
and, in, and out of the 63 animals we've had, I think there'd be one healthy animal that we've had that's actually been injured. The, the majority of our animals in Queensland are green turtles and they're gra primarily grass eaters. So they're grass meadows, if you want to call them such. Um, they're being covered up by flood you know, um, silts that come down in the floods. So, you know, hence they, you know, overnight their food source is gone. There are human effects that we do see. Um, and we see a, a fair degree of effect coming from the recreational fishermen area, fishing area where turtles are you know, being entangled in lines and you know, having hooks in them and hooks you know, stuck in body parts that eventually then rot away. Well, the biggest, single biggest thing that the public can do, especially the boating public, is just be aware that they're there and aware that they're not healthy. The healthy animals will generally get out of the road of your boat, but if everyone in a boat is more aware that there's a potential for animals to be floating, then you know, they can keep a better lookout and avoid them. Don't you know, change course. It's as simple as that. Or actually pull up and check the animal out. And if it if it can't dive, it's not going to get better on its own. So just grab it, bring it in the boat, bring it to Coin Island Rehab Centre. <laughs> it's certainly a huge part of my life. Um, but by default, I guess I, I never had a huge passion for turtles. Um, I do have a passion for wildlife in general. Um, and I guess yeah, like in summary, that. You know, we're lucky to have them.